Let's try another example. For this one, we will have by skip counting first. So 25 centavos. From 25 centavos, we have 30. Then 35 centavos. And then 36, 37, 38, 39. So we know that this is 39 centavos. Or we can just simply add 25 centavos plus 2 5 centavos is equal to 10 centavos plus 4 1 centavo is equal to 4 centavo coins. So 25 plus 10 plus 4 is simply equal to 39 centavos or in peso, this would be the value. Next, these are 20 peso coins. How much are this? So in this case, since all the coins are 20 pesos, we can just simply skip count by 20. So that would be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, and 240. So, by skip counting, we have identified that the value of this 20 peso coins is 240 pesos. Another way to solve or to get the value of this is by grouping the coins. Since these are 20 peso coins, 5 of this will make 100 pesos. So in this case, this group is equivalent to 100 pesos. This 5 20 peso coin is also worth 100 pesos. And then this 2 coins is worth 40 pesos. So you'll just have to add 100 pesos plus 100 pesos plus 40 pesos, which is also equivalent to 240. Let us have our last example. How about these coins? Can you tell the value of these coins? Well, to help us count, we can put together the coins with the same value. So just like this. So in this case, we can now count by skip counting or we can just simply add these values together to get their total value. So by skip counting, this is 20, 40, then by 10, so we have 50, 60, and then 65. And then for 1 peso, we just add 66, 67, 68, and 69. So we know that this is equal to 69 pesos. Or we can just simply add 220 peso coin is simply equivalent to 40 pesos. 210 peso coin is worth 20 pesos. Then you add 1 5 peso coin plus another 4 1 peso coin, which is worth 4 pesos. So adding them all together, you'll also get 69 pesos.